Starting off with uh, when I joined the club, I think we uh, chrono we have to go chronologically. Um, uh, joined the club um, 2020 in end of January, beginning of February. The team then by then was bottom in the league with second most goals conceded, less goals scored, um, and I took the job uh, after a very successful spell at Malmö FF. Um, purely of the fact that one of my dreams I had, like to get another tick on my bo on the box, was to manage in my homeland. So because I managed in, in, in England, in Norway, where my wife come from, in Sweden, and now I had the opportunity on the back of the results with my MFF to get into the Bundesliga. And at my age, and when you also see the recruitment process in German football, there is a lot of young coaches coming through through uh, NLZs, through academies, through um, through clubs where clubs can have a long look at them and, and groom them a little bit in the way the club wants to go. To come as an outsider, even when I'm a German, to come from, from the outside back into German football and get one of the 18 jobs, that was a big temptation for me. Even even when the Fortuna at the time were bottom in the league and only 15 games to, to play, it was only 15 games to play. So I took a chance because uh, I wanted to fully fill my dream. I saw potential and uh, I also was a big part of Fortuna's history. It's a, his, is a, is a traditional club has a, with a rich history and has a fantastic stadium with a, with a fantastic crowd. What I felt would be crucial for us to stay in the league, to make up the points. So then we joined and we started off. Everything went well. And then Corona came, so very. I only had uh, two games or three games in the stadium with with crowd. After that, I had since today, I'm only at games without the supporters. So that was the plan. And obviously, we as a uh, as an underdog in the first Bundesliga, when you be bottom in the league. And we needed the crowd to, especially in home games, to raise our standards by another five, ten percent. What would it help us to stay in the league? We improved a lot in all aspects of the game, but not enough to stay in the league. After the relegation, club decided to to stay. That I that I can stay. What is not normal in in modern times. The sporting director who signed me had left the club. Um, was become the new sporting director in and. Um, and uh, we starting we started the project uh, uh, promotion. But you know how hard it is when you see, especially the championship, when you get relegated, how hard it is to get in the first attempt up. And especially a new a new uh, unique situation here in Düsseldorf was we lost nineteen players. Nineteen players we lost last summer. So we had a pretty rough start in, into the season. Um, uh, Completely new team, um, didn't have much time in pre-season because we were recruited very lately because of uh, financial impacts of Corona. And we came under pressure straight away. Uh, we worked ourselves out. Uh, we finished the first half of the season with 31 points. Uh, now we had a, a down period again. Um, but I think, I believe that we fit, we're finding ourselves uh, step by step. We, we get a, a hierarchy in the team. We get a certain way of playing. We're putting, we knowing our, our best 14, 15 players, uh, with, but we need to keep them fit. That is our main problem. We have too many injuries. Uh, we're hanging in there. I think the, the league is like the championship a little bit, very equal. Everyone can beat everyone. Um, we need to find a certain consistency, what we have shown in that good spell for two months, uh, what we had. When we achieved that in the last 11 games, we still have a chance to win promotion. Everything has to go optimal, um, that for sure, but uh, is, is, still, is still possible. And I'm looking forward for the next game because I think we should concentrate now only from game to game and forget about another team, forget about the table situation. Um, concentrate on the next game and do it step by step and then we have a chance. I'd be a big believer in that.